big dog primary oil change. I always do the primary oil and the motor oil at the same time, but uh, the video on the motor oil was running too long, so I broke it up here. Now, the, one of the things for both of them is naturally the engine oil should be pretty hot. So take the bike for a little ride. And then the next most important thing is get the bike standing straight up, not on the kickstand. Now from model to model and bike to bike, uh, oil weight and capacity changes. So make sure you check your owner's manual before doing this. Once you have the bike perfectly uh, vertical, check on the bottom of the back of the uh, uh, primary cover you'll see this drain bolt and that's what you're going to be opening up and um, draining out it's a pretty simple procedure while it's draining be sure to check uh, the bolts uh, the drain bolts all of them have magnets in them and take a look at that you want to clean it off and uh, sometimes there's a, little shavings on there it's no big deal but if you have quite a few on there, that's something you want to show to your mechanic. Also, look at the uh, O-ring on there. If it's in good shape, hey, you may not have to do anything. Here's one. You can see it's pretty eaten up. So then you want to change that out, put a new O-ring on there. And just like on the oil filter, put a coating of oil around the O-ring so it seals good. Now, I always use a, like a liquid Teflon paste. Uh, around the threads. A lot of people don't do that, but I've never had a leak, so hey, why not? Here's the uh, four bolts you want to take off for the inspection cover, um, for the tension on the primary chain, and to fill it up. Now, on this model, you can see there's no guesswork involved. It's right in the metal there how much to put in, how much oil capacity it holds. And uh, you can see it says one quart, so that's what I put in. Always use dinosaur oil. On this bike, it takes uh, 20, 50 weight. And uh, never use synthetic here because a lot of people who do or who have end up with their clutch slipping. Now you want to put everything back together, run the bike, and uh, naturally check all the places that you opened up. Make sure you don't have a leak in there. And then you're all set. Again, this should be done. I think the manual recommends every 2,500 miles. I do it uh, on the recommendation or once a season, whichever occurs first. And again, hey, it's, it's just economical and uh, cost saving and time saving wise that you do this at the same time you change your motor oil now on my on my bikes usually i always use synthetic for the motor but like i said before use regular 2050 for the primary chain later on we'll have another uh, video coming out showing you how to adjust your primary chain uh, and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to visit our very popular motorcycle blog. It's San Diego Custom Motorcycles .info. And when you're there, mark it as one of your favorites. Also, be sure to get a subscription to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Hey, thanks for watching.